Hey everyone, thanks for joining me. My name is Brian Brummer from Rubato Photo. Um, and today I'm gonna go through uh, a few tips on my, uh, the way I do my file management. So um, obviously first things first, you want to uh, insert your memory card into your computer or into your card reader. Um, so I'll just double click that. And then uh, I do my photos um, importing, my photo importing manually. I don't like to use um, the uh, internal um, importing from Lightroom. I like to really have control and a good understanding of where my photos are. I know it's very possible to import my photos the exact same way using Lightroom, but something about manually putting them there makes me very aware of how everything's organized. So when I, when I need to find something, I, I very quickly know where to go. So um, in my home folder here, I have a pictures folder and then a folder for the year, and then I do a folder for uh, each event. So um, for this one, I'll just make a test folder, and I put the date in in uh, numeral format. So I'll put the year first, and then the month, 03, and the date, 26th, and then underscore, and we'll call this test. Um, and the reason I do the date in that format with the year first and then the month and then the day um, is that when I am in a list format like this I can easily sort um, by name and since they're done in that format it starts off and does them all in the chronological order so I don't have to worry about um, date modified or date added or, or any of those things so you can see obviously this one was January 21st January 31st March 15th, March 23rd, and then March 26th. Um, then if I've got multiple um, cards, I'll make a card for each folder, or I'm sorry, a card for each, let me start that over, a folder for each card. There we go. Um, and that way, I don't have to worry about any uh, duplicate file names um, when I'm using two camera bodies. Sometimes that will happen, or you use multiple multiple memory cards. Sometimes you end up um, with the same file names, um, and that can cause all kinds of havoc if you try and put them in the same folder. So uh, I'll do like a card one, and then a card two, even though I'm not going to use a card two at the moment, but you can kind of see how I do that. And then I'll go into card one, and I drag the whole DCIM folder into um, my card one folder there. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and get my Lightroom catalog started. Um, I do a catalog, a new catalog for every single event that I photograph, um, just because I like to be able to very quickly and easily move them to different computers, different hard drives, throw them into Dropbox, and know that, um, like say for example, I need my photos from this uh, Margaret, Margaret Glaspie, Andrew Bird, and Lumineers concert. I want to edit them on a different computer, or I need to put them on a different hard drive. I can grab this folder right here, and it has everything in here. It's got the uh, catalog files from Lightroom. It's got all the different cards from my memory cards, all the different all the different photos from my memory cards, and literally everything I need to open and edit or re-edit any of those photos is in this folder. I can just move it really quickly if I want to Dropbox or to wherever else. So um, that's the main reason I do that. I know um, that it can be kind of a pain when I'm trying to go back and look through um, older photos sometimes and they're all in different hard drives and they're all in different catalogs. It can be a bit of a pain sometimes but I found that this is the easiest way for me to be able to organize things and uh, as with most things um, with file management it's about finding what works for you. So this is what works for me and it may not work for you but um, I have found it to be very helpful. So I've got the um, Photos all imported here, and I'm going to copy this text here, and then open Lightroom. It's going to either try and open the most recent um, catalog, or it's going to give you the option to open a different catalog or create a new one. So obviously in this instance, I'm creating a new one, and I will put it on to pictures folder 2017, and in my test folder here paste in that file so that way my um, that folder name so that way my 
folder name and my catalog are the exact same name, so I can very quickly and easily find them if I need to. Hit create. And now I've got every I've got my catalog created. It's just a matter of importing photos. So I just grab and drag. Grab it. Come on. There we go. Grab and drag down to Lightroom. Make sure this includes subfolders uh, checkbox is selected, and then just go ahead and hit import. Um, Depending on what you're doing, you can do some things while you're importing. You can apply metadata presets or develop presets. Um, I always do a metadata preset that puts on my copyright and puts on some other information. Um, and that way, uh, I don't have to worry about going through and manually doing that afterwards. So um, I will go through and talk about um, setting up metadata presets and develop presets and exporting presets and watermark presets. I'll do all of those in some different videos, but I just wanted to show a quick uh, intro on how I go from memory card to uh, having everything into Lightroom and ready to start editing. Um, that's all I've got for now. Next time I'm going to go through um, how I find some ways to speed up my editing process through keyboard shortcuts and some little tips and tricks on um, just kind of how I manage to pare down my photos quickly and not spend uh, hours and hours and hours um, looking through things. So uh, hopefully you'll come back for that one and uh, you've enjoyed this one. And if you have any questions, please uh, don't hesitate to let me know. You can comment on the video or you can uh, visit my website, robotophoto.com and send me an email through the contact form on the site. Thanks a lot and I'll talk to you soon.